Hello, welcome to another video from Johnny Vlogger on car fix videos. Today we're doing a Vauxhall Mariva Model A 2006 1.4 petrol manual and we're changing the offside front uh, driver's side CV joint as it's clicking when you do a right or left turn the bearings are obviously very worn out okay so as you can see I've taken the wheel nut off the wheel off already so it's uh, four 17 mil nuts there's the wheel there it's got an alloy wheel on it so I had to take the wheel off to pop the middle the middle bit out you can then put the wheel back on and put it on the ground and try and undo the centre nut which is a 30 mil but um, what I did, I just put a screwdriver through the disc. You can see that to lock the disc from moving when you go to undo this centre nut. And I put it in gear, and it was quite tight, so I used a scaffold pole for easier leverage to undo it, which has done the trick. It's now loose, and I'm just about to take it off. And uh, I shall show you more when I've done this. Okay, so we've undone that. I'm just I'm taking it right off. Just left it a bit looser now. Got two 12 mil bolts here for the caliper. So I've loosened that one. Loosen that one. Take that one out. Should lift up. Wiggle it a bit. Got a bugger in it. I could get it off quicker. It's a Sunday. It's freezing cold today. It's like about four degrees, not even that. Don't have a lot of enthusiasm. There we go. mucky doesn't it all the grease where it's come out of the um, CV boot there's no grease left in it I don't think it's gonna have to have a good clean up there's a brand new disc and pads we've done less than 50 miles so they just pull out I might as well just undo this, just undo this bolt, just uh, get the bloody thing off, it's not really, uh, don't really gain everything this here, there you go, let's put that bolt there with the other one. Uh, hook that up there on the shock absorber there you go it sits up there quite nicely ok so we're going to undo these two bolts here for the wheel hub joined to the shock absorber 18mm so you put a spanner in one end or two sockets whatever and then you undo them, get them out, and then this will pull away, this bit here will pull away. And then that will drop down at an angle, and then you should be able to push the CV joint through the hub, and then it'll come out this side. I've undone it a bit already, it's about halfway out, but I'll get the rest out when uh, I've undone those two bolts. Right, so I undid the centre nut, there's a washer there, put it on the floor there, next to the wheel nuts. So I bang, that, bang this out the middle bit, through the out of the hub. I had to centre the steering wheel slightly to get it to come out. If you have it full right lock, it won't come out. 
but when you have it, when you turn the, when you centre it up a bit more, the disc, you get more clearance. So that popped out. I've sat it on the caliper, which is on the wishbone. I've moved it from there because it fell down. It's not very safe there. It's a bit safer there. So all we've got to do now is we've got to get this joint, this bit here, off the drive shaft. So I shall push all this back, clean all the grease off, and there should be a circlet. Um, I'll try and give it a quick tap. Sometimes if you tap it, it just comes off. But if not, you have to get the um, find a circlet and try and lever it out. Okay, so we've got the CV joint off. To get it off. I'll show you how you do it. It's quite easy. If you look, there's a cutout here at the top of the joint, and you can just see a little circlip. Oh, there's a circlip there. So what you do, you get the the joint when it's on the dry shaft. Get it where this cutout is at the top. And then you get a small screwdriver and a pair of long nose pliers. And you basically widen the circlip so the gap is like, what, an inch wide? Three quarters of an inch wide. And then basically, you can either gently pull it off and it come forward or get a mallet or a hammer and gently tap it without the circlip going back to its position it is now and then it should just come off so when you put the new one in it's a reverse procedure you uh, make sure the circlip's in in that little groove put a load of grease in and then it should just clip on tap it in and it'll clip in place and then it's done but obviously make sure you put the CV boot on first. Okay, so one tip is never use the old CV boot because I was trying to use the old CV boot with this new CV joint and it was, for some reason, the CV boot was too big and the old CV joint was wider than this one, so there was a horrible gap when I pushed the old CV boot on the new joint. So what I've done, I've taken it back off. I've put the CV boot that come with this. I've clipped it on. It's all back on. All I've got to do now is put um, metal clips or cable ties here. And then it's done and put it back. Okay, so we've... Uh put the CV joint back on with the CV boot that came with it. We've put the metal clip on there. Um, I had a bit of difficulty putting the metal clip on at the back, so what I've done, I've just put a couple of cable ties on there, and I've pushed it forward a bit, so it's less chance of it coming off when you turn it left and right. Um, I find when you put it where that groove is, they stretch more the CV boots and end up coming off so I, I always push them forward a bit that's my preference right so I've put these two bolts back in I've pushed the ABS sensor back in its little clamp and I, I've put a new nut on hub nut there's a little washer that goes on before it that's the old one, you can still use that. So as you can see I'm just uh, doing it all up now. And that will go in. Try the shafts going in, there you go. So we can tighten it up a bit more in a minute. So I'm just going to tighten that up, them two bolts, tighten that up, put a split pin in. Tighten that up, split pin in there, 
then put the um, put the caliper caliper back on with the brake pads and then it's done put the wheel wheel back on